Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Today we will be studying the fourth grade science book, Energy, Investigation Number Three, Electromagnets, Part Three, Reinventing the Telegraph. Question, how can we reinvent the telegraph using our knowledge of energy and electromagnetism? Let's find out. Today we will be using items that you've seen in previous investigations. We will be using two circuit bases, D-cell batteries and D-cell battery holders, 20 gauge wire and 24 gauge wire, our rivet that we coiled 24 gauge wire around uh, 40 times, and today we will be adding telegraph wire and telegraph steel plate. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let's start with assembling our circuit base. I'm going to add our telegraph plate to our circuit base and our rivet. We want the electromagnet to be close enough for, um, but not touching the steel plate. And then we're going to attach our energy sources, our batteries, to our switch and in line with our other D-cell. We could just use this one D-cell, um, but for this investigation, we kind of need a, a lot of power. So I hooked up three D cells for this. And then in order to close the circuit, we need to attach our rivet So now our circuit has a path, a full circle path. And now let's close the switch. This is how they used to communicate before telephones were invented. They used a series of clicks to deliver messages. This was invented by Samuel Morris. He also invented the Morse code. But today we will be using the stream code and the grid code in order to communicate. So let's take a look at the stream code. In the stream code, you would use one click for S, two clicks for T, three clicks for R, four clicks for E, five clicks for A, and six clicks for M. For the grid code, you would use two sets of clicks for each letter. So one click and one click would be A, one click and two clicks would be B, one click with three clicks would be C, one click with four clicks would be D, and so on. So imagine if you needed to communicate a Z, you would need five clicks and then five more clicks in order to communicate Z. Now looking at the stream code, try to decipher the message that I am sending. Can you decipher the word that I'm spelling out? Now, look at the grid code. Remember in the grid code, I have to type in two sets of numbers for each letter. So for instance, one click and one click is an A. One click with two clicks is a B. So I'm going to do the clicks on the left first. 
So I'm going to do these clicks first and then these clicks. So if I want to do a V, I'm going to do five clicks first and then one click. So it, it will sound like this. That's a V. Are you ready to decipher my message? The first letter is The second letter is, the third letter is, the fourth letter is, fifth letter is, sixth letter, letter is, Seventh letter is, and the eighth letter is, can you figure out what I spelled out? Let your teacher know, and we'll continue on to the next part of our investigation. For this part of the investigation, I hooked up my circuit base to another circuit base via a telegraph line next to the crayfish tank. Now you will notice that there are no wires other than for the rivet on this board. That is because it is connected to my board by the telegraph wire. And so it will be using the power from my board to close the circuit to the other one. So it's a way of connecting the two boards to send this message to the crayfish. And there are the crayfish. So listen to the message and see if you can decipher the message that I'm sending them. Here is the first letter. I will be using the grid code. Here's the second letter. Here's the third letter. Here's the fourth letter. Here's the fifth letter. Here's the sixth letter. Here's the seventh letter. Here's the eighth. Here's the ninth. Here's the tenth. Can you decipher the message? Email your teacher and let her know what you thought the message said. I hope you enjoyed our investigation. Until next time, have a great day.